Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 3 we are working on lesson number 2 and we are making equivalent fractions with sums of fractions with like denominators. So let's take a look at a few problems from tonight's I think I'll do three. Uh, the first problem asks us to do the following. Show each expression on a number line and then solve. So let's take a look at 1c. 1c asks us to do this for 2, let's see, 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. So let's see, first I want to do a number line. And let's see, I'm going to go from 0 to, let's see, I think 1 will do it. And then I need to break down my space here into 7 parts. So I'm thinking it's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Not perfect parts, but that's pretty close. And let's see, if those are 7s, then let's see, each of my hops is going to be over to over 2 7s. So I'm going to go from here to here, right? And then I'm going to go 2 more, and then I'm going to go 2 more. And let's just see where I end up. I end up, let's see, 1, 2 sevenths, oops, let me go back to this, 1, 2 sevenths, 3, 4 sevenths, 5, 6 sevenths. I think I end up over here at 6 sevenths. And if I think about my units up top, if I think about my original problem here, 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths, we're all working in the same unit, sevenths, so I should be able to just add this up, 2, 4, 6, 6 sevenths. There we go. I think I've been able to express... Uh, to solve that expression, and to show it on a number line. 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths equals 6 sevenths, whether we do that as adding like units or whether we do that on our number line. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two, more complicated directions. Express each fraction as the sum of two or three equal fractional parts. Two or three equal fractional parts, okay. Rewrite each as a multiplication equation. Show part A on a number line. Well, I'm going to do 2B, so let's see. 2 or 3 equal fractional parts. Boy, getting 9 of something from 2 equal parts is going to be very difficult. But, you know, getting 3 equal parts should be pretty easy, right? Um, 3 plus 3 plus 3 would be 9. And I think we're working in fourths all the way along. So I think that's the same as 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, right? Let's see. 3 plus 3 plus 3 would be 9, and we're all fourths. All of our units are fourths, so that would be 9 fourths. And when we do repeated addition like this, 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, we can also express that as multiplication, right? That's 3 copies of 3 fourths. So now we've expressed it as repeated addition, and we've expressed it as multiplication, and that's exactly what we were asked to do in our directions. Excellent. Let's take a look at one final problem from tonight's homework. Express each of the following as the sum of a whole number and a fraction. Show parts C and D on number lines. Well, I'm going to do, go ahead and do 3C. Let's see. One of my strategies when I, have, um, when I have improper fractions like this is to just skip count by the denominator to see how many holes are there. Um, another way you could do it is you could, you could start doing one of these things where you, um, where you pull out seven sevenths at a time. But I'm, I'm getting past the point that I need to do that. I think that was more of a fourth grade strategy. So let's think. Uh, let's see, 7 sevenths would be 1, 14 sevenths would be 2, and let's see, 21 sevenths would be 3. So I'm going to put 21 sevenths over here in my number bond. And if I took 21 sevenths out of this, then that would just leave, let's see, 22, 23, 24, 25. That would just leave 4 sevenths left over. 4 sevenths left over. Awesome. And 21 divided by 7 is really easy. That's just 3 and 4 sevenths. So I think that this fraction is equal to 3 wholes and 4 sevenths, because we could think of 21 of those sevenths as simply making 3 wholes, and then we have our remaining sevenths over here. So 3 and 4 sevenths would do the job. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.